So what is for you luxury? That's a great question. I think that uh, luxury for us is uh, a definition that's not what other people think. Uh, to us, luxury is fun. There's a large amount of people who want to have fun. All the top restaurants here are fun. Uh, there's a music aspect to it. So with Hard Rock, Nobu, Eden Rock, Unico, there's always a music aspect. There's a fun aspect and luxury. So, you know, when you're at a certain price, um, some people expect that you need to wear a jacket and a tie. And we're more of a casual, relaxed luxury. We know that if you have the money to be here, you can enjoy it. You can wear whatever you like. Uh, most people at the prices that we, we have uh, know that what to wear and don't question it. They can wear what they want. We have rock stars, we have celebrities, and they wear what they want to wear. It's trendy and cool and we don't have an issue with it at our property. So luxury means that you know, you're going to get great food, great vibe, uh, great rooms, and you're not going to really worry in our AIC hotel group world of what you have to wear. You know, we really don't have a dress code. Some of the other older all-inclusive brands still have dress codes and requirements and, you know, you must wear this and that. And we really don't have that. You know, as long as uh, our guest is the type of guest that knows they want to dress up at night or get really cool at night and dress the, tre dress the trendy way, let's say. And what is Lux for you for kids? Lux for me for kids is making sure that they have the amenities to do things that are not, in today's world, a kid's camp or a kid's room or a teenager's room. You know, we know that all of our research shows that if you put the word teenage program, they're not gonna go there. If you say teenage room, they're not gonna go there. And that's why we align with a Woodward, which doesn't say the word teen, but it's built 100% for teens. It's super cool, it's super hip, it has all kinds of cool things to do. So the, the teenager wants to go there versus feeling like they went, they got checked into a kid's club with a teen sign on it. I think that's luxury cool. Um, you know, having music based stuff, especially today, is luxury cool because all the things that the kids are doing on apps with Musically and different things like that, and right now with uh, Snapchat and all the fun stuff they do, uh, it's got to be driven in a cool scenario so they can take a cool picture. And, and if you partner with brands that are cool, like a, a Woodward or even now Kids Bop, where you can actually go into Kids Bop Studio and, and uh, record and have fun, it makes it all that different to the customer as luxury. And what is your favorite luxury thing in your hotel? Depends on which one. I mean, I can tell you right now, I love eating at Nobu and uh, an experience at Nobu second to none. I think it's still one of the best uh, Asian experiences in the world. Uh, when I go to Hard Rock, I think the music is the biggest part for me. I'm a big music guy. I grew up in a New York uh, hip hop scene. So for me, I love music. Um, and, um, you know, if I were to do Unico, I just think the rooms are fantastic. It's very high end, still a little fun. You almost feel like you're in, um, like a, you know, upscale beat off the beaten path, all inclusive is very Mexican. And so, yeah, everyone has a different thing. I wouldn't say there's one place, but you know, luxury fun for me also at Punta Cana is gambling at our, our, our Las Vegas style casino, which a lot of people don't know we have. So really depends on what you like and what you like to do and you can always find that luxury feel for yourself.